Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today is another edition of Look For Less Challenge hosted by Yami the Latina Next Door and her co-host for the April edition is Lindsay from Domer Homes. I follow both of these ladies. They are great DIYers. Their YouTube channel is awesome so make sure you check them out. I will have their, their channels linked down below and I will also have the playlist linked down below for all of you to check out all the great DIYs that are part of uh, and all the great YouTube channels that are part of this uh, challenge. Um, today I will be making a, a sign from Pierre One. Well, my inspiration is from Pierre One, and the sign is $30 on pierre1.com so I assume that's a U in US dollars and I will be making mine for literally nothing because all the supplies that I am going to be using come from stuff that I have at home now if I were to go out and purchase all these supplies they would cost uh, me approximately I would say about five dollars uh, just because if you cut down the wood use it for something else the paint I'm not even counting it because it's so very little and then you I'll, I'll show you all the things that I will be using to make the sign so this is the sign that I will be making and here are the supplies that I will be using to make it so I am using a scrap piece of wood that I had picked up from um, I had actually not picked up. I had it left over from one of the um, walls we were building in a kid's bathroom a couple years ago. And then I have these letters that I've had since I worked at a daycare. And I had purchased them when I first started, which was, oh, looking back about 24 years ago. Um, then I have um, picked up the forged hammer. Uh, paint and primer in one uh, by Rust-Oleum spray. It's called Antique Pewter, and I've had it uh, for a f other a couple other projects. I still have quite a bit of it. Then I have some black um, spray paint eyelets that I had picked uh, had uh, left over from scrapbooking days some acrylic white acrylic paint my Annie Sloan old white that I've been using for all sorts of projects I'm almost done with it some uh, sandpaper brush a screwdriver a sponge makeup sponge a pencil ruler you will also need a pair of scissors And then just some craft foam that I always have on hand for daycare. And then I will also be using these because I am planning on hanging up my sign. But if you weren't, you if you were just wanting to place it against the wall, you wouldn't have to use this. But I had picked this up at the Dollar Tree. So first thing that I am going to do is I am going to cut out my letters. And then I'm going to spray paint my eyelids, then I'm going to spray paint my letters, and then I'm going to paint my board. So come along. So I need 20 of them.
picture it shows that it's two pieces of wood so I'm going to try and achieve that look using a screwdriver and a pencil and just sand out the edges. Now in a picture some of these letters are a lot lighter so I want to just lighten them up a little bit. this dry and my eyelids are almost ready I'm gonna be very prickly to work with I might have to touch them up so now I'm going to put my eyelids in edges a little bit more. much for watching if this is your very first time visiting my channel and you like what you see I would love for you to press that subscribe button and a notification button stick around and see what all all my what my channel is all about and remember the playlist and Lindsay's and Yami's channels will be linked down below so make sure you check out everybody so until next time hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching <music>